One of the most common questions that master gardeners get from visitors to the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center is, how can I get a more plentiful blueberry crop? Hi, I'm Marta Kravich. I'm a Sacramento master gardener. And this is Michelle McCormick, who is joining me here at the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center. In this video, I'm going to test and amend the soil's pH so you too can enjoy a more abundant crop. So Marta, what is pH and why is it so important? pH is a term that measures how alkaline or acidic your soil is. pH of the soil influences the plant's ability to take in nutrients from the soil, especially iron, which is all important for a healthy blueberry bush. As you can see, the pH meter shows a scale from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic and 7 is neutral, while 14 is the most alkaline. Blueberries grow best in well-drained soil that is rich in organic matter and acidic in the pH range of 4.5 to 5.5. One of the simplest ways to determine the pH of your soil is to use a soil pH meter like this one. Or you could use a soil sample kit. Each of these can be found at most nurseries. How do I test my soil pH with a meter? First, you want to insert your meter in several different areas around the blueberry bush so that you can get an accurate reading. If you find that all the different test areas show the same or similar reading, then you can safely assume that you have an accurate reading of the soil's pH. Here at the Horticulture Center, we usually do the testing once a year in the spring when the soil warms up a bit, but you may also test it in the fall to ensure that it's in the range of 4.5 to 5.5. If the pH is higher, then you will need to acidify the soil by adding elemental sulfur. How much you apply will depend on the size of your plant and the reading on the pH meter. The sulfur container will tell you how much to add. Be sure to carefully read the instructions on the bag or box. Once I know how much to add, how do I apply the sulfur to the plant? Clear any mulch from the soil surrounding the plant. Then take the designated amount of sulfur and spread it around the plant. Next, water the amended soil and cover again with mulch. Keep in mind, this will take several months to lower the pH, but eventually it should become more acidic and more desirable for the plant. Are there any other amendments I could use to lower the pH in my soil? Many people believe that using peat moss, coffee grounds, or pine needles will lower the pH in the soil, but that's really not the case. However, once you have lowered the pH with elemental sulfur, these mulches can help maintain that lower pH. There are many factors that can affect blueberry production, but if you can nail the pH, you are well on your way to a bountiful harvest. Thanks for joining us, Sacramento County Master Gardener's YouTube channel.